Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Mr. Bomber's YouTube videos. This time I present you again something about quantum computing. As you can see, I'm already, already on my account from D-Wave and it's called Leap, D-Wave Leap. It's in another version, Leap 2 because uh, it has been added the hybrid solver total with the hybrid and i already run an experiment let's see i have i had 20 minutes and now just under 20 minutes 19 minutes and 95 seconds and 749 milliseconds left and if i go to uh, the other one the d 2000 q quantum computer I uh, submitted because it, I submitted uh, the last uh, uh, work unit, if you want to call it that way, uh, on the hybrid. So it took uh, the two of them and I had one minute, uh, which I get every month. And now I have. Uh, 59 seconds and 987 milliseconds left and that are the remaining uh, problems which I can submit uh, 4797 so one problem submitted from the total which I got here I used 0.02 percent and the problem which I submitted uh, took uh, yeah, as you can see, milliseconds. All right. So here again, the D Wave, the D Wave 2000Q uh, quantum chip is online. That's our time to solve the problems. 2030 qubits it uses and the temperature in millikelvin it's quite a low temperature here the problems i submitted that's just another one i submitted and it was solved i will show you that another uh, uh right after so these are the two uh solvers I'm using an actual a quantum chip to solve the problems if you're interested in go to D-Wave Leap or D-Wave Leap 2 and you can sign up and can submit uh, some you got some free time to uh, program on uh, and and submit your your uh, codes uh, to a quantum processor from the way for for f for free for some few minutes or some yeah some few minutes minimum one and it can be even more as you can see when I use the hybrid solver you can even get more time if you like so let uh, let me tell you that more and more uh, you can use quantum computers you can submit your problems or your code to a quantum uh, computer uh, and uh, this is uh, an Amer American company D-Wave but you can uh, now a days also submit to a European company which uses quantum computer uh, just search for it and you will find it it's also for free is is in simple in some way if you're a programmer uh, to understand uh, and in today's time it you can uh, submit your problems in uh, the the common program languages and it's like a hybrid a hybrid computing but uh, it's more and more shifting from uh, submitting 
your uh, your uh, codes instead to a supercomputer if you ever get access to you can use now and it's shifting into the direction of quantum computing quantum computers and you get as i said from d-wave and the european company as well at the moment uh, access time for free so let's give you uh, some additional information let's go to uh, the res let's go to the workspace let's see what we can do there uh, this is a problem which i which i tried the maximum uh, cut let me start that again to show you So quantum computers in general are much faster than, uh, uh, and x times x times faster than supercomputers probably supercomputers cannot even solve in uh, in uh, in our lifetime in 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 thousands of uh, generations probably or even more uh, probably never solve it what quantum computers uh, in the future right now will and yeah probably right now and in the future can do because the the calculation power is uh, like exponential or is uh, has as we uh, talked about an infinite number of uh, uh, processing power calculation power if you want to call it this way so which problem i submitted was this is the this is the readme file here you can read the maximum cut see and it will uh, line all when you uh, highlight it where it where it stands so that you get easier uh, access to the information to see it right in front of you at once uh, and here we can read the maximum cut with the uh, with the, with the code. I'm not going uh, through this. You can you can read by your, uh, for yourself. But let's go to pro to the program itself. And the program looks like as follow like this. And uh, we'll find the maximum cut and uh, i started it here around Py uh, python file in the terminal this is how i submit to the d-wave here on the lower left you can see the d-wave that's the example and this is how you can change it if you want see you can add uh, you can apply your own code and then run it submit it to the DWF quantum computer. You just need a DWF leap account or a DWF two leap a DWF leap two account. And then you can use you can submit your 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 code to a quantum uh, chip. As you could see, when I summoned this, I got the result back, and and the result looks like. Uh, uh, on a paper like this it's just a simple uh, problem and it took me some it took the quantum chip some few milliseconds to solve it so Let's try another one here.
So let's go back for a moment. So I stop this, it will stop it. Yeah, here we go, and let's go to another one. Let's do the math. The maze. <laughs> Excuse me, the maze. Yeah, it's math, but <laughs> in some way, but let's do the, the maze problem here. It's loading, in, loading it in the ID. Here we go. This is how it looks. And let's directly run it. So this is how, this is the explanation. And the variables and all the programs here to make the math. All right, so let's run it. Now the problem is submitted. Here we go. I got that one. Here we go. Uh -huh, yep. Yeah. Okay, let's take another one for the moment. Let's um let's take that one. Okay, it's loading and then we run it and I show you the result all right it's a nice animation here isn't it <laughs> all right let's go uh, to the this is how it looks let's run it here we go so and as it says your plot are saved to ante antenna plot original dot png solution. so we got the solution here one two three four five six seven and the other one is like all right it's just one result, oh, actually two results out of it. It's being saved. Let's get another one done. Let's take that one as well. You can submit your own code. Uh, program your own code and then submit it to find the solution 
or the result which comes out of it will take you some milliseconds usually yeah so there's another one you see if you understand that uh, see that if you understand this then you can program something like this by yourself yeah here we go oh man yeah let's run it analyzing as you can see in the back 78 items left it's running you know there are a lot of people submitting problems sometimes you're a little bit in the queue with uh, the actual processing time of the quantum chip is uh, extremely fast 17 items left so let's see what the results uh, will look like analyzing in the back items left so let's see let's just let's just run it here we go it's getting faster yeah so So you can submit your problem right here in the IED. You don't need to download uh, Python uh, language or Python program language or not a program or other programs. You can just write it here because it's implemented already. Got some warnings here. Let's see. Let it just run here. Let it run. <laughs> so we got four. Four of that one. Uh, there's a license here. Yeah. Uh, let's get another one for the moment. Come on, come on. Yep. Let's close that and get another one. The last one, this one with the machine. With let's let's try that one. So this is just, you know, I, what I want to show you here is, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, it is possible that you can use a quantum computer for free. And this is real, okay? I'm accessing the D-Wave quantum computers. And you can do this also for, for free. But you can also add additional time if you need them. Yeah. So let's run this program here. Submit it. Analyzing. <laughs> program on a on a quantum computer in today's time, ladies and gentlemen. These are hybrids today, so you can uh, uh, program your programs in the uh, common languages, common pro uh, programming languages, and then submit it and uh, the converter, or not really convert, the hybrid will, will translate your the, the, the programs into a quantum 
language and then uh, give you the result. This is the way to go from now into the future. So it doesn't matter how big or how difficult your problem look like, just submit it and let it run, you know. Program, program, program. Amazing, amazing, amazing things. Work on it. Do it, submit it, and get the result. So I will get another one. Let's go for a moment. And let's see some of the problems I submitted. Still, I have this one. I'll stop you for a second. Mutual information feature selection. Okay, and now we go to the. Oh my! Hi, I used a lot because of this. You. Oh man. I used a lot. My gosh, I used a lot. How many problems have been summoned? Hi, 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 unbelievable. Oh man, hoo hoo. Hmm. Let's see. Oh man, that was quite a lot, huh? Let's go to the resources. What else do we have here? We have uh, resources you can learn. Ocean SDK. Tools. Leap integrated development environment. My gosh, what you can do is amazing, isn't it? Let's uh, run a common demo. Okay, I showed you that already. You can read it through later. So we go continue. We used uh, 49. Select a number of factor on the quantum computer. 49, the biggest one. Uh, yeah, this is how it works. Divide. Yeah, yeah. How trial division works to find integral factors. Uh, okay, that means 7 times 7 is 49. That would be, yeah. Let's go further. Three bit multiplication circuit to find the product of two factors. And then we got 7 times 7 is 49. Let's go further. Let's go send certification problem. Programming the quantum computer. There we go. AND gate, qubit, and couplers. A, B, C. So, could get more information here. Well, let's go through. Circuit. Then the transformation, and then the qubits, and that's how a quantum computer will solve it. So let's run the problem. Problem submitted. Problem solved. Unique solution of 75 samples took uh, uh, some few milliseconds. Seven seven or seven times seven is. 49 and that's how it looks on a quantum computer so 
we continue here recap got some additional information continue social network analysis get to the second demo yep you can read it here you can read more here so find the best way who is with whom with whom show the groups analyzed yeah all right i uh, analyzed this in a uh, in a video which i did previously so romeo and juliet are yeah they are probably are together <laughs> or in love yeah including okay let's not talk about this for a moment let's talk about the demo 2 here so that would be and then we shift it and there's a plus there's a minus there's a minus so the plus would be here yeah violence amongst the gangs of LA you can get more information here global ter terrorist network you can get more information here in 2017 let's continue with that one uh, so let's run it and took a few milliseconds unique solution so 50 samples it looks like this border so they still have some kind of connections yeah and this is how long it would take on a cpu on a normal cpu and this is the time which it took on a on the quantum chip so the cpu would uh, like supercomputers would still run 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 and the quantum chip took just 497 milliseconds to solve it so better go with that one now uh, to calculate to much faster especially when you have large problems to solve go with the quantum computer okay so we are further examples in optimization in terms of medicine like uh, medicine combination all right so you could get more information here well, let's continue okay create your own application as I s you can learn it here or create so let's uh, access the id Hope I said that right. ID or ID ID uh, because here th that's probably all you need for to program your uh, your program is right here. See, we're in the ID again. So. Let's open our other workspace here. Structure balance. Let's see what we can get here. Let's interference. Let's take that one. If you're the programmer, you can do phenomenal things here, you know. Let's go to the collection and, uh, and samples here. So let's make the Sudoku. Okay. Sudoku. You probably have, you probably heard of it, Sudoku. So it's starting. That's quite a nice animation here, huh? Isn't it? Leap, D wave leap. Awesome. I like that somehow, you know. But yeah, it's uh, 
Well, here we are. Uh, let's see how it looks. The text. Let's go to the program itself. Diamond mass sys. Here it is programmed and we uh, let's run it. Let's run it. Let's see what we get out of this one. <laughs> Still running here. That will take a lot of time away. My gosh. Here we go. The solution is correct. <laughs> Still running. The solution is correct. Whoa. So I just let it run. Here we go. Warning. Different problem. Should text it. Yeah, oh, I think I can stop it. Let's see what we else have here. We got that one. How about satellite placement? Factoring. Clustering. Satellite placement. I want to say that one. The satellite placement. running mm -hmm. let's see analyzing I'm using the hybrid solver the hybrid if I use it uh, if I use the direct one it's it's probably much faster, but let's see. This is just to show you how you can program here your own your own program and then run it. Uh, so let's see what is coming out of it.
No, no, no. Successful. Great. And let's test. Let's test it. All right, that worked also. That worked also. Oh man. Uh, I need to add the other one first uh, here. Sure. Um, we did that one. Okay, let's go to uh, the debug. Start. All right. Let's go to find. Tax. Uh, power. Okay, let's find another one. And here we go. Here we can add the program. Let's go back. Terminal. Mm. No tasks. Sure, we need to load it first. Run selected test. We already did that one. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Maximum cuts. We s how much we still have? All right. That was okay. So we get another one. <laughs> Let's take. one so this is the last one I show you and that's how you can use a quantum computer just a short test for you to see that uh, it is possible to use a quantum computer today for free all right I do not go into details here, it's just like a short demonstration for you to see the code here. It's running. Yeah, no problem at all. Okay, cut it further down. Da -da -da -da.
Minute. And you can use this from anywhere where you have a computer, where you have an internet, and then you can use, uh, you get a, a connection to a quantum computer. That's amazing. Think what you can do. You can do phenomenal things. So, let me try let me change that that sounds that sounds actually correct here hmm zero 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 one 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 zero one 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 zero that seems correct to me hmm which is the other one yeah this one hmm. let's try to change that for a moment let me add a one. Let's run it again. Past. Start the debugger. I did that one. Let's run the command. I just test that. Let's see so what what can happen. You know. Uh, let's change that for a second to zero. Why not? Just to see how it works like that. So we got three now and still it is here we got this this to one so a triple one would be okay because it was not there you all let's close this for a moment here but also i need to change that back to one so let's go to another one now this was the last one I want to show you. Q boost. Let's try that one for the last time, or for the last. And then I explain you something else about the quantum computer. And this is actually real stuff here, huh? real real stuff uh, that you can connect to a quantum computer in today's time for free, huh? program if you're a programmer program and let it run uh, so here we go it came in um, here is the program yeah that's a long one run it's running let's see what the result out of this will be here we go yeah should run <laughs> I submit some codes around the world. Quant D wave quantum computer. Solve it. <laughs> Solve it. Let's see what that will bring. Mm. 
Let's see what that will bring. That brings mm -hmm. to which which is uh -huh. next one classification. Well, okay, so let's get back. Let's close this. So, update, just go just a little more. So about the quantum computing, so here this is your uh, dashboard of the Leap account. And uh, yeah, you can actually get one you get every month the developer plan uh, that means you get one minute per month for free and this is on the hybrid solver 20 minutes I used quite a lot just for that one for some few problems which were summoned it automatically uh, here uh, actually when I when I set it up but it's okay and uh, shorten thing about quantum computing is that uh, you know uh, it's been said that uh, classical computers are using ones and zeros right all the time and the quantum computer can use one and zero at the same time not uh, in a row or after another at the same time so the speed up is exponential that means x times how big nobody really knows that at the moment but uh, the potential is huge it's extreme okay good things for using the quantum computer is um, machine learning artificial intelligence problem solving or actually uh, route optimization and and much 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 more or uh, science uh, in terms of uh, material design and so on and so on even for uh, aerodynamics or actually uh, yeah you can you can really uh, start to just imagine what else you can do with the machine with a quantum computer which uh, has a exponential number of computing uh, computing power so uh, this is it this is it for the moment and there are at least two sources I know uh, the D-Wave quantum uh, chip you can access with the hybrid which uh, came with the leap 2 also I saw it like that and uh, there's a European company which also uh, let you use uh, quantum computers uh, for free you can submit your problems or your code uh, in a common language or in a common program language which you are used to and then it will be translated to quantum code solved it and the result you will uh, get it back by transferring the quantum code into your understandable uh, program languages uh, take use of it today if you're a programmer if you're a real programmer I highly encourage you to use it because this is the future of computing and it has been said if you're the real programmer you're the wizard of tomorrow start now do it use it 
uh, and uh, develop marvelous things and change the world for the good for humanity once again. I thank you very much for listening and talk to you soon. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share if you want, would be appreciated. And uh, see you in another video. Thank you so much and as always, peace in.